it's been like a long time since I last posted again and um yeah sorry about that I was just stressed about school but I'm not filming with my phone anymore I finally got my camera I got it early earlier than my birthday so earlier than I was supposed to but yeah anyways um today I decided to film my holy grail favorite products that I use a lot and um yeah, so if you want to see what my favorite products are, what I use on a daily basis, then just keep watching. So I'm going to do this in the order that I do my makeup. So first, I always do my brows, and I have two ways of doing my brows. I either use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer or the Dip Brow. I use the Brow Definer for school because I need to like do my makeup really fast, but the Dip Brow for when I want my brows to be like more precise, more cleaned up and um, yeah and they la the dip brow lasts longer I think it's like more waterproof so when I use a dip brow for the brush I use the Makeup Shack T3 brush and it's just an angled brow brush with a spoolie I love this brush, the spoolie is so so soft it's just easy to blend and the brush itself is so soft, it just, yeah. So that's it for brows. And so then I would do my eyes and my favorite mascara for my eyes is the Maybelline, what the heck? The Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. And I don't know, I just really like it. It like curls your lashes on its own. You don't need a curler with them. And then whenever I wear lashes, which is literally every single time I wear makeup, I use the dual lash glue, but it's the green brush on adhesive. It's really good, I love it. And then I always tight line. So my favorite eyeliner is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I just always just do a little line. Well, it's not little. I always do a thick liner. So for lashes, this is a lot. So my favorite natural lashes are the Kiss 11s. You can tell they're my favorite because I have a five pack. They're so pretty. I'm, I'm in love with them. And then I have the Coco Lashes in Fifth Ave and Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. They're so, so great. Queen Bee, oh my god, they just make your lashes, like your eyes look way bigger. They make your eyes pop. You look like a doll with these on. And Fifth Ave is just so cute. Like, um, the lashes are a little bit shorter in the front, but they get longer at the ends, which is so cute. Like, perfect for like a cat eye look. Like you see how it's like, short right here and then it gets longer it's so pretty and they're like little clusters i love these lashes so much and then for my more dramatic lashes if you know me personally you know that my faves are the ardell 203 double ups at first i was like um these are like super ugly but when they're on it's so pretty like they look really ugly in the packaging, but I swear they're so pretty. And for my most dramatic lashes that I love is the Cake Face Beauty and Kim Tai collaboration, the Lion Hearted Lashes. Y'all, these are so pretty, so long. Like, without looking up, they like reach my eyebrows. I love them so much. So that's for lashes. After I do my lashes, I always do my face. And for primers, I like the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. This primer is so good. Like, it actually really does smooth out your face. I love it. And I wear it if I want to wear foundation, obviously, or just by itself. Whenever I just wear highlight, blush, and bronzer, I use this. I also use MAC Strobe Cream as a primer. It's so pretty, you guys. Like, it's like a highlighter. It's, it's technically a moisturizer, so you can use it, 
as a primer, but oh my god, like it gives you like such a sheer glow. So like if you want to put it like on your body, you can. It's so pretty. Anyways, yeah. And then I use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, the rose water one, as a primer too, or as a setting spray. Well, setting spray is not really a setting spray, but um, I use it sometimes for that or before my highlight. It's just a refreshing mist and it just melts down the powders in your face. So then I don't wear foundation, especially right now because I don't have one that's my shade. But concealer, I use concealer to clean up under my eyebrows if they're not like cleaned up already. And obviously I use concealer as a primer for my lids. And I use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. This concealer is so full coverage. And when YouTubers say a little goes a long way, it's true for this product. Like, it's so good. So full coverage, all of it. So for else... For my face, I have my favorite blush. You guys already know what it is. Milani Luminoso. Like, I've used this so much. You can't even, like, it doesn't even say Milani anymore here. And, like, since it's a baked blush, it's supposed to be, like, a little circle. It's literally flat now. I love this blush so much. It's so pink, so peachy, and it's, like, a highlighter and a blush too like you just get like a little subtle glow with it on so like if you're not like me who has a blinding highlight then you can definitely use this just as a blush and a highlight and then i have a, my next video will be my favorite highlighters because i couldn't just narrow it down to like two or three so for my face also i recently got the cheek parade by benefit and y'all, I love it so much. Like, eh, God, I, know, I don't know how to use it. It's so, so pretty. So, I use Hula Light as a, wait, where is it? A light bronzer, and then I bronze slash contour with Hula. And I don't really use the blushes or the brush, honestly. Um, so this is really good. It's, it's such a perfect bronze. Like, I didn't believe the hype about Hula, but I believe it now. So for my brushes for my face, my favorite blush brush is the Wet n Wild blush brush. Like, I've used this so much, doesn't even say Wet n Wild in it anymore. Wow. This blush is awesome. Like, you can just easily get in there. And yeah, it's my favorite blush brush. My favorite highlighting brushes are the Morphe M501 and the Morphe M510. I used to put the highlight with the M501 first and then blend it out with the M510, but now I find it easier to use this one. Just go like that to get it done like faster and more spread out. And then I use this one to blend out the edges. And it's perfect for like your nose and like your little temples, your chin. I love these brushes so much. They're so good. I mean, the F510 does shed a lot, which I don't like. But, I mean, you get what you pay for. For my inner corner, I always use the Makeup Shack T2 brush. It's so good. It's so tiny. Like, wow. Okay, it's like perfect. For your inner corner or for right under your brow. I love it. And then recently I got face brushes, even okay, so I got them from the makeup shack. This is the makeup shack T40 brush, it's a foundation brush. Y'all, these brushes are so good. Like, I haven't been able to use this one on myself, but I used it on my mom on her birthday this weekend. Well, last weekend, yeah, whatever, on Sunday. And it's so good, like it blends so easily, it's so dense, I love it. And it doesn't leave like little streaky lines. So for bronzing, I use the Makeup Shack T30 brush, it's just a large powder dome brush. And it's so good to just like a perfect bronze. I really love this brush for that. You can also use it for, for blush, like 
things like that, or just a regular powder brush. Like this brush has multiple uses. And um, the one I've been using the most, other than the bronzing brush, is the Makeup Shack T28. It's just an angled contour brush, and it's just perfect because it gets right in there. And it's, these brushes are to die for. They're so good to blend out product. Like, I love them. So, now eyeshadow palettes. Right now, I've been using the Desi and Katie Dosa Colors collab, the girls palette. Like, yeah. These colors are so pretty. I love them. I need to use them more in videos. I'm gonna plan to do another video with this, hopefully. And my hands down favorite palette for the past two years, well, past year technically, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Like, this is so cute. <laughs> brush as well it's so beat up i love this palette so much the colors are so easy to blend and um they're so pigmented i mean you do get a little bit of fallout but it's a freak like going really deep but i mean it's anastasia it's good also favorite is the morphe and jacqueline hill palette okay this palette, I really like this palette. Like the shadows are so, so creamy, so pigmented. I love it. But recently, Jaclyn and Morphe fixed the packaging. So like this is like velvet or whatever. It's just regular cover. I don't know. And it gets dirty. So my camera just stopped filming for some reason. But, um, as I was saying, the Jaclyn Hill palette does get dirty easily like this. And the new packaging kind of irritated me because they should have just done that in the beginning. But the shadows are really good. Super pretty, super pigmented, super easy to blend. And, um, yeah. For lips, I don't really have that much. Um, but my favorite liquid lipstick is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Double Dare. This lipstick is so pretty. Like, y'all look at this swatch. It's so cute. And these aren't drying at all. They're like, they dry down really fast too. And they stay on. Like, this whole does not come off. And so, y'all already know, I have to mention my favorite Maybelline Viva Hot Lacquer, the gloss and charmer. This is like, the pigment of a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. It's so pretty, so good. And then lip liners. I have to admit, it has to be the Kylie ones. Maybe because I just don't really have any other lip liners. But those are really good even though I don't really want to support her brand. But whatever. That's not the moment for that. Um, my favorite lip gloss is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I literally use this every day. It's a perfect pink nude gloss. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Fuck, it's... I need to, like, get it back up, like, ASAP. And, um, yeah, that's it for this video. It was really short. Just gonna give y'all a break from all the long videos, all the long tutorials, and... Yeah, if you like this um, video, if you missed watching me, then just give this video a thumbs up. Comment if you liked this video, if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And make sure you're subscribed. Turn on the little bell thing, press the little bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a video. And yeah, just... I'll see you guys next time. Bye.